Hello, here we are with a software tour of the HTC Sensation XL with Beats Audio, the big brother to the HTC Sensation XE. So this has a 4.7 inch touchscreen, so that's simply huge. Uh, we've got a 1.5 gigahertz processor, not dual core, Android 2.3.5, HTC Sense 3.5, got touch sensitive navigation buttons, front facing 1.3 megapixel camera, got a rear 8 megapixel camera with f2.2 lens, that's great for, for photography, letting lots of lights in, uh, dual LED flash, we've got the Beats Audio technology which we'll come back to in a moment, got this nice design, this metal, got this white finish as well. No micro SD card slot, just 16 gig internal memory, approximately 12 and a half of which is usable uh, by yourself. So let's take a quick look. So here we've got the huge touch screen. We've got the HTC Sense interface. Uh, we spin round, what have you. We can edit the user interface as you'd expect by dragging and dropping and replacing and what have you. So there we go, we've got the applications. Let's just take a quick look at the applications. So a lot of them are standard, but you've got HTC Hub, uh, Locations, Maps, Notes, Polaris Office, um, Soundhorn, Tango, and Usage Monitor, which is nice for tracking your data, Voice Dialing, HTC's Watch Service, um, YouTube, you can then organize them like so based on uh, different settings you've got here let's just go into the settings to uh, confirm some of the things that I've uh, already mentioned so there we go sensation XL with beats audio also known as the x315 e then let's go back into the Hardware. So there you go, 1.5 gig processor, memory, there you go, 8 megapixel camera and so on. And then software, Android 2.3.5 and HTC Sense 3.5. As you can probably already see, this screen is quite reflective. Um, we're not in the brightest of environments by any means, but the screen is at full brightness here and that itself is very bright. Uh, let's take a look at some of the things that you'll want to see. So let's go to the browser. So I'm hooked up on Wi-Fi here. We can rotate the screen. So we've got landscape or portrait orientation. So here we are on the Clove website. So let's put it in landscape to maximize what we've got on the screen. So let's go and take a look at the one of the product pages. So let's go and have a look at the Samsung Galaxy Note. And here, the page loads up. You can zoom in and out with the pinch and zoom functionality. The loading speed's pretty good here. I'm on Wi Fi as well. Um, so scrolling is not a problem. And actually, you don't even need to zoom in on some of this. The text uh, appears very well on screen um, and what have you. So we've then got the camera. So there we have the rear camera, uh, eight megapixels. It also shoots video in 720p. Uh, so we can switch the uh, modes. We can go to video here. So now in video recording mode, we've got the big record icon. We can switch to the front facing camera. Now you'll see the video in which we're recording this on. So let's go back to the main camera. We can change up the quality here. So there we go, that's the video recording at 720. Let's uh, change the mode back to photo. We've got uh, effects that we can add on here, which is quite nice. We've got the ability to zoom in with this. Not the smoothest of zoom, it's just in there. We've got links back to the gallery got scene settings which should help us take different pictures. Uh, panorama is a nice one there to have which seems to be coming more and more common on the cameras and then we've also got more detailed uh, settings there as well. 
So there we go. Things like messages, all very common. So com compose a message here. We've got huge on-screen keyboards, both in portrait and landscape mode. We can change some of the keyboard inputs. So let's have a look at what you've got there. So we've got lots of different settings there. We can even go further into the settings and we can change the keyboard type. We can have international keyboards. So there's lots of different options there. So that's very easy. You get the haptic feedback uh, as well. You've got the phone. That again is huge. You've got a big old dialer screen there. Some of the applications. So let's go and look at YouTube. So we search for a video in here that we can play you. So here's a rather old video we've got of a uh, video we've done, but there you can see it's on high quality. Welcome to Clove Technology. Today we have a demonstration of the Clove Technology. So there we go, there's a quick thing here. And then let's most importantly look at the music facility. Now this is really difficult to show you um, in real depth because you actually need to be here trying it. But of course this is Beats Audio. So you get these, the Beats Audio in-ear headphones. And what actually happens is when you put these in, the device will detect that you're using Beats Audio headphones and will optimize the sound for you. Now, we've tried these in the office here on the Sensation XE, the XL, and other devices, and um, the consensus is this, really. The sound experience on the XL or the Sensation XE is definitely better than it would be on another uh, device that doesn't have the Beats Audio technology. The sound is improved if you use different uh, audio formats, so something like FLAC files will definitely give you um, a better sound experience. If you use the Beats Audio headphones in another device, sound is improved but it feels more bassy. Uh, when used uh, on the XL or the XE, you do get a superior sound performance. But if you can then go and use FLAC audio files with a FLAC audio player where you can control all of the settings um, you do then get the best audio experience here and um, one or two of us in the office are really into uh, music and uh, one guy in particular has tested this out and says that the Beats audio experience is considerably um, better on one of these HTC devices than any other smartphone he's used today even with the higher um, capacity memory audio files, um, whether it be you know the FLAC files instead of the MP3. Uh, on the headphones itself, you do get the controls, so there's the play, back, and what have you. Um, and then, of course, it works through the standard uh, player on here, but uh, you can't really hear it when we've got the headphones on or you can't really experience the sound. It, it just wouldn't be fair, but take our word for it. Is better so let's just play one song here to just demonstrate So the audio experience is pretty good on here without uh, the, the headphones, the loudspeaker isn't too bad, it, it's not as tinny as some uh, and 
it's not the best audio experience you're going to get. Always a dedicated line out is going to be better, uh, but it, it's not that bad all the same. So that's a uh, quick uh, software tour of the HTC Sensation XL.